welcome to Bamberg, Germany. We are in a really unique situation right now. We are staying at this amazing hotel, Hotel Bamberger Hof Bellevue. If I'm saying it right, I'm not sure. No, little old us could not afford to stay in a hotel, never mind for like three weeks. We're lucky because we are actually dog sitting. We're looking after Toffee and Mello, the cutest puppies ever. We love them so much. They are so adorable. Have to show some clips right now but we're in love with them so much. We're gonna take them with us and steal them forever. So because we're taking care of them, the owners live in the hotel. So we get to live in the hotel for a little bit. And yeah, a pretty sweet deal. Actually, speaking of the word sweet, this is like, I get to live all of my sweet life of Zach and Cody dreams from elementary school. We're so lucky and so thankful um, to be here and be able to stay somewhere so amazing as this hotel and Bomberg in general. Bamberg is such a gorgeous city. We are going to be filming the city and some cool drone shots and show you everything. This is probably the most beautiful city that we've been to so far. And we've been to some gorgeous places, but it's like everywhere you look, it's just on another level. It's like a fairy tale. Definitely stay tuned because the next few videos will be Bamberg and the castle and the flowers and the half timbered houses and it's just so amazing here. I'm so in love. But today we are going to show you the hotel that we're staying in. Let's have a little hotel tour. apartment room. This is Mello, by the way. Mello and Toffee. Say hello. Aww. And they have helmets because they have a Vespa because they're that cool. And here is a little bathroom. But they don't use it because it's just for storing the dog food. But it has lovely lighting. And lots of mirrors. So keep in mind, um, the people we are house sitting for, or dog sitting for, they live in this uh, hotel room. So it's not sterile, clean, like most hotel rooms because life is happening here. Um, just something to keep in mind. And yeah, this is the living room and kitchen area. We're very lucky because we have a fridge, a microwave and toaster, and stuff to make things with, like one little burner, which is awesome. And this is all our trash, don't look at that. The best part of the whole thing is this beautiful view we have right here, you can see the city of Bomberg. And we have this lovely flat screen TV, which was awesome because the other day we just turned it on and 101 Dalmatians was on in German and we watched it with the puppies and it was so cute. Here's the big bathroom. A little messy because our stuff is everywhere, but come on in. So we got this lovely huge tub. <laughs> Mello. And the best part of this whole thing for us is we have not only a washer, we have a dryer. I have not seen a dryer in months. I'm so happy. This is amazing, you don't understand. To have a washer, first off, to know that we have a washing machine for several weeks is just so amazing to know. And then we have a dryer too, which is just like, I never thought I'd see a dryer again in my life. But uh, yeah, so. My, our stuff is kind of making everything dirty. It was cleaner when we came here. But this is this room. Let's continue on. So this is the upstairs. This is the master bedroom. And again, the best part of it all. The views. lovely 
the room for the time being. And the cool part is we also have like, I mean, it's a hotel, so there's like maids. So every few days they come and clean everything. Another TV. And there's an Xbox and a Switch, but we're not really gonna touch those because they're not there. Um, by the way, I'll cover their faces, but they met the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Lucky people. That's it. Oh, there's one more thing I want to show you. Okay, so actually there are a few things I want to show you. So we did a fast tour, but I want to show you some more of the details of this awesome hotel. We are lucky enough that every morning we get to have a free breakfast buffet. And as we are budget travelers, of course we take full advantage of this and fill up as much as possible. Or at least I do. I tend to have so much food. Harrison stays pretty healthy though, and he usually just has like a croissant fruit or something. <laughs> I also want to show you the entrance hall or the foyer because this is very fancy. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel. I like um, all the art on the walls. A lot of the art, if not all of it, was collected like personally by the owner. We are also very lucky as budget travelers to get free snacks throughout the day because they leave out like pastries and gummy bears and gummy mice. And there's usually more pastries than that. There's not more there maybe because we have eaten a lot or something. I don't know. But yeah, I take full advantage of that. And here's me eating completely graceful. The hotel has a great location. It's right near the center of Bomberg. It's just a short walk away to get to the old town hall and everything. So yeah, this was the hotel we were very lucky enough to stay in as house sitters. And no, this was not sponsored or anything. Maybe it seems like that, but we were just so stoked to stay here. And I guess we're sort of just showing off a little bit. I never, ever, ever thought or envisioned that I could stay somewhere like this. Um, house sitting has completely changed the way I traveled. I mean, this was obviously the nicest place we stayed our whole trip and the nicest place we're going to stay. It's crazy how sometimes it just works out that you get these crazy experiences if you put in enough effort in trying to find them and trusting people and trusting something new. A lot of people are scared of house sitting or using the internet to help them travel and I just don't want you to be scared of that. I want you to embrace the fact that you can travel, you can have crazy experiences and you don't have to stay on the street or in hostels. And no, of course, most of the time you will not stay somewhere like this but I'm just saying the possibilities are endless and you have the ability to look into it and find ways to do something like this and I wish you luck if this is what you want to do. By the way, if you're interested in staying in this hotel, we'll put the link down below to their website. Once again, not sponsored, but hey, if you want to stay here, I highly recommend it. <laughs> Rob, get out of there! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, thanks for watching the video. Uh, we just have something to say. We have started up... That's, that's Raph, he, he's meowing. But we have just started up a Patreon. So, yeah, we're talking about no. it. <laughs> Maybe we should get a rap <laughs> This is rap. <laughs> I'm beautiful blues. Hi, thanks for watching the video. We have one more thing to say. Um, We just wanted to let you know that we have just started up a Patreon. Well, we didn't actually just start it up, but we actually just amped it up. Uh, we used to just be a tip jar, but we, uh, we want to try and do something where we can give back to the audience. Um, something that would be uh, kind of personable and kind of uh, unique from our from watching us on YouTube. So some things we have is we're going to be sending out postcards every month from wherever we are. So um, this is this video is actually in the future. So in, we're in England right now. So we'd be sending you a postcard from England, or if we were in Germany, we'd send you one from Germany, from Bamberg, like the video we just just took place in. Um, we also you're going to have early access to videos if you're a patron, so you can see them before anybody else. Um, what's the rest of it? Um, another thing that we have is, which actually kind of connects to the other thing that we're announcing, is we have a subreddit now that we're calling uh, Thrifty Travel. I'll put the name right there. If you are a patron of us, you will get a Reddit flare, a, a unique one that only you can have if you are a, uh, a patron of ours. Thrifty Travel is going to be all about um, talking about how we travel and how others also travel like us. It's gonna kind of be a community where you can ask questions, give advice. Um, this is this Reddit is not for 
uh, promoting ourselves, but more promoting the idea of our audience being able to do what we do. Yeah, ways that you can travel, like something like house sitting, I mean, staying in a hotel like this, something that most people I never thought could happen. And there are ways that you can travel like that, using work away, or ways that you can save, or cheap, cheap hostels, or anything, any tips we want to know as well. So, yeah, try to start up a little community there, but you, yeah, like we said, we get a flair if you join our Patreon. And also, I would like to know if you have any suggestions or tips to make our Patreon even better. I would love to know what would you like from us we could add it into our patreon mm -hmm. or um, if nothing else you could see it as still just a tip jar um, it takes a lot of work to make these videos like crazy amount that's why um, our videos are a little bit behind you can totally help us out we would appreciate it even as low as what a dollar I think yeah we're also on patreon putting out exclusive videos there's just so much stuff that we film there's so much stuff we leave out one of the the example uh, videos that we could do for this is one that we already made public was the um the, the glockenspiel yeah the clock tower the whole six minute video of that that would be like something that would be a bonus video you could get through patreon also something that could be um an example of extra videos we would post the other day was bonfire night here in england and we could show the whole awesome fireworks show that we saw at blackheath and in our video which is going to be a little bit of that so that type of thing right and um but not just events either, I don't want to just narrow it down to that. We also have like footage, like in, in when we were in Bosnia, there was like a dog that we met, like in the middle of the night, and I don't think we posted oh, any yeah. of that. Oh yeah, all those weird little yeah, stories Yeah, like all these weird happened. little things that like just wouldn't fit in our video. But, but it, we could show you, and I think they're kind of funny little experiences. Right, and cool like just small little, little moments that our YouTube audience doesn't get to see. Yeah, so it would be cool if you could really consider becoming a patron, like I said, as, as low as a dollar. But you can just do it one time, and even that will help us out, because, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that, and of course the Reddit and everything, but um, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>